Mr. President, what about technology? What, what are you looking uh, specifically for technology to solve, the, the biggest challenges that you see in government? But I'll distinguish between government adapting technology to do a better job, which has been a major focus of mine since I came into office. And frankly, we've just scratched the surface. Whether it's encouraging people to vote or dislodging big data so that people can use it more easily uh, or getting their forms processed online more simply. There's, there's a huge amount of work to drag the federal government and state governments and local governments into the 21st century. Um, it, it, it's interesting uh, that when I talk to friends in Silicon Valley, some of whom I've recruited then to come into the administration, uh, I'm able to show fairly rapidly what I've said to them when they're on the outside. The gap between the talent in the federal government and the private sector is actually not wide at all. They're really smart people who work really hard here and are passionate about what they do. The technology gap is massive. <laughs> it, uh, when, I, when I first got here, um, you know, I always imagined like the Situation Room would be this super cool thing, you know? <laughs> be like Tom Cruise in the Minority Report, we'd be moving screens. around stuff and I'd have all these, it's not like that at all. I, you know, the, the, the movies, uh, I think, display, particularly when it comes to hunting down terrorists on the other side of the globe, display this, this uh, omniscience uh, that we possess somehow, and it's, it's just not there yet. Uh, uh, and it's been drastically underfunded, not properly designed. So, so there's a whole bunch of work we have to do around getting government to, to be more customer friendly and to make it at least as easy as ordering a pizza or you know, uh, a, an airline ticket uh, for you to be able to file your taxes, for example. But I, I think in, in terms of the broader questions around technology, I've talked about individualized medicine and, and health and generally. Uh, energy is obviously massive. Uh, uh, I am a firm believer that uh, if we get climate change right, if, if we're able to tap the brakes and uh, figure out how we avoid uh, six-foot rise in the oceans, uh, that humanity is going to figure stuff out. I'm pretty optimistic. If we don't get it right, I'm worried. And uh, you know, we've done a lot of good work but there's just an enormous amount of work still to be done to deploy uh, analytical tools and computing to crack the code around clean energy. Um, we've made progress, but uh, we've got a long way to go. Um, and then, as I indicated before, uh, uh, and this is to use Joey's term, a meta problem. I think figuring out the structure of regulating connectivity in the internet in a way that is accountable, transparent, safe, uh, allows us to isolate and get at the bad guys, but ensures that the government does not possess so much power uh, uh, in all of our lives that uh, it becomes a tool for oppression. Um, we, you know, we, we're still working on that. And some of those are technological problems. Uh, some of them are legal problems uh, and, and a, a problem of shaping the right architecture politically and legally uh, to create mechanisms for accountability. But um, you know, so, some of it is, is actually just uh, a tough set of technology problems that, uh, and encryption being a good example where you know, I've, I've, I've met with civil libertarians and national security people over and over and over again. And it's actually a knotty problem. No, nobody can give me a r really good answer uh, in terms of how we reconcile some of these issues. So, so I think that there's going to be uh, exciting times. That, here's one thing I can guarantee. There's stuff I haven't even thought of yet. Um, and I guess since this is a frontiers issue, the last thing I should mention is uh, you know, I'm still a big space guy. And figuring out uh, how to move into the next generation of space travel is something that 
we're significantly underfunding. There's some good work being done by the private sector, uh, again, because increasingly it's displaced government funding on some of the what the heck, why not ventures, crazy ideas. Um, but, you know, when, when, when we think about space flight, we're still thinking about basically the same chemical reactions we were back in the Apollo flights 50 years later. It seems like we should be, you know, I, I don't know if the, you know, lithium crystals are out there, but, you know, we, we should be getting some breakthroughs on that front. Yeah.